Hello guys and gals, and welcome to a new Lumberjack Dynasty series called Tips and Tricks. And today, our first tip and... Oh, actually, it's going to be our tip, not a trick. Uh, actually, it is also going to be a trick. We're going to learn about the mushrooms and herbs, so stick around. Be right back. Mushrooms and herbs are actually important in the game. In the early part, you don't get to learn, you don't get to use herbs, but you get to use mushrooms. And if you take a look at the cookbooks. Okay, guys and gals, mushrooms are actually used early in the game. You learn them as part of the beginning quests when you first start the game. And they're used in the cookbooks, the four cookbooks that you get when you first start the game. So now, once you've learned how to collect mushrooms, these three recipes are the highest price selling plates that you can make for right now in the game. Once you get to unique recipes, you can make higher end um, plates, but early in the game, these three recipes, which include um, tomatoes, chili, zucchini, paprika, pumpkins, and milk, all include mushrooms, and the egg casserole also includes egg, mushrooms, and zucchini. These are your, but these three are your top highest selling plates that you can make. Paprika and chili are the only things that you can grow in the greenhouse. Anytime you have paprika seeds, always grow paprika because this is your top selling dish for right now. Unfortunately, in unique recipes, you don't get that much. And later on in the game, you unlock all the herbal um, potions, which in that, then you'll be able to find herbs. Herbs and mushrooms are always together. So I'm going to show you, a, I'm going to give you a little tip and trick. So I'll meet you at a mushroom herb location. Okay, guys and gals, we're here at a mushroom location. Here's the garage for the lumber mill. And we go, and by holding the right mouse button down, you find mushrooms in the forest. And you can see, and you also find strawberries, and you also find herbs. And you can see that sometimes they're kind of hidden in the tall grass and stuff like that. So what I like doing, and it gives you, it kind of marks out the location too. What I do is... I cut down all the bushes in the area around where I see the mushrooms. By holding the right mouse button down, I can still see where the mushrooms are. And I just cut all the bushes I see in the area. Just like that. So we cut all the bushes. So what I'm going to do next is get my weed whacker out. We are just going to hold the right mouse button down. You won't cut down the mushrooms when you're cutting. And what I do is I kind of go in the, in the box area. And I just kind of make a big area. Because what this will do... It does a couple of things. But well, one of the things it does one of the things is it does when you cut this area up and I'll go ahead and fast forward this, but what it does it'll show you the mushrooms a lot easier. So let me just hit fast forward and I'll show you what I'm talking about.
Okay, guys. If you hold the right mouse button down, you'll see. Oop. The mushroom's a lot easier. You also see when I cut down the grass, I didn't cut down any of the herbs. I didn't cut down any of the mushrooms. And we only saw one strawberry bush, which was there. We did not see the strawberry bush because it was covered by the grass. But now we can see it. So that's why I cut a large area. I usually do, I just go around, figure out where the mushrooms are, then I cut that area. Now, also, there's a benefit. You can collect the mushrooms. Of course, you know how to do that. But you also want to collect the grass clippings. Or the hay, as it's called now. It used to be called grass clippings. Now it's hay. Because you feed the hay to your animal, uh, to your cows, but once the barn is full, you can actually make money on this hay. Only sells 40, 40 cents a bag. And right now my hay is full in my barn. So in the um, daily quest that you have uh, bush, bush trimming, and you cut the grass, collect the grass. Because you're making 40 cents a bag. And let's just see how many, how much. I'll go ahead and collect everything. All this grass and all that. I'll bring you back when we're done collecting all the mushrooms. And stuff in this area. The grass. Okay, guys. As you can see. We picked up two strawberries, and I've already picked up some things, but we picked up 177 bags of hay. 40 cents a pop, that adds up. We got this area that's mowed, and it's going to remain mowed for a while. <coughs> and the mushrooms will respawn within three to five days, and I missed this section. And right now I can't pick up the herbs because I haven't learned it, but I got herbs here. Let me show you another location close by. And this is the shortcut. But you can see the wild animals. And if I press down, I cleared this area that all the animals are scattering. But you can see I have herbs here, herbs here. Oop, I missed the mushroom. But um, when I cut this area, I had no grass cl clumps. So that one area, I had 78 grass clumps. And these two areas, I've collected 45 mushrooms and two strawberries. And if, I was a if I'm was later on in the game and I can pick up these herbs, that will help me out later on. Now, as the grass grows ba back, keep mowing the grass. Oops, there's a section I forgot. Keep mowing the grass. Because the mushrooms and the herbs do not grow back in the exact same location that they were in. Okay. Oh, now we got some grass clippings. Okay. They do not they do not grow in the exact same location. Anytime you're walking through or even driving through. Sometimes you can do it while you're driving through. But let's, let's go to the store. Hit T when you're driving. Don't hit the W key. W key will get you started, but T will not get you started. T will keep you going. And when you're going uphill, you'll be able to drive faster for some reason. And if you're holding the W key, you actually go slower than if you have cruise control set. We're going to go visit Roman. Roman, as he likes to be called. 
and watch out for the trees when you take when you're going off road. Also, be careful when you're going off road. You don't get yourself stuck. And we're gonna come here to visit Ramon. <coughs> we're here at Ramon. Hi, Ramon. Hello. Care to trade? Okay. Now, what? If I buy mushrooms from Ramon. Is there 90 cents a pop? If I sell them to Ramon, they're 60 cents a pop. Strawberries are 70 cents a pop. But if I sell the grass, I got 182 bags of grass of hay, not grass now, now it's hay. It's 40 cents a pop. Now I just made a quick 7280 just by collecting that. So I'll go ahead and sell that. And the reason why you want to go ahead and start collecting mushrooms, strawberries, and, and eventually we'll set up beehives. And I'll eventually talk about everything that you see here. What you want to buy. It actually is easier to do some of this stuff on your own. And cheaper and save money. But there's another way to get mushrooms. So I'm just right now I'm not gonna buy the honey from him, but I'm gonna buy everything else from him for right now while we're here. But there's a daily quest that will help you get mushrooms too. So stick around. I'll show you why you want to do this daily quest on a daily basis. Okay, guys. The next way to find mushrooms. And also get some very important feed is by doing find find the missing sheep daily quest. Now, sometimes it's not part of a daily. Every day there's four daily quests. One daily quest you want to do if it's available is do the find my missing sheep. So he has the quest. Not my. Not now. Sorry. Oh, excuse me. Not my problem. Hi. Oh, hello. Need me to help you with something? Please help me find my sheep. She's missing. Uh. Sure. No problem. <laughs> okay. Now to find my missing sheep, you just hold the button and then you start seeing these echoes. Hold your right mouse button down as you go on. Towards these echoes. And sometimes you'll find mushrooms as you're going through the forest. Like right here. Okay, I found some mushrooms. So what I want to do now is get my... Let's just go ahead and start clearing the area. Because in four or five days, these mushrooms will grow back. And if I had this area cleared, I know that I'll be able to see these mushrooms air a lot quicker. And I also will recognize that, hey, this is a cleared area. I went ahead, I've already found mushrooms here. And it would have to be in a bushy area. But we want to go ahead and clear the area as we are locating these mushrooms. There we go. Always clear the bushes first in the area. Because you'll find a lot of mushrooms underneath underneath the bushes and stuff like that. That's one of the reasons why I clear the bush and the brush. And I just kind of make a big semicircle. And let's do this. Okay, and what we are going to do now, we take our grass trimmer. And we just look for those mushrooms. And I just kind of hold my right mouse button down. Okay, there's one of the mushrooms. 
Sometimes they're in a big cluster and sometimes they're in a small cluster. And I can't see any other mushrooms. Okay, guys and gals. Picked up all the grass and we did a lot of bush trimming. And you can see it's a large area. Oops, I thought I picked up all the grass. <laughs> but it's a large area. And remember when we first got here, we only saw two mushrooms. One of this one here. Let me pick up this stuff while I'm here. And we also saw what well, we saw and we saw that one. I just saw more grass. So just by cutting back the grass. Cutting the grass and cutting the bushes down. We went from two and unfortunately I did pick up a couple of mushrooms. This was the other one that we saw. But we had mushrooms over here. But we had a wide field of mushrooms. So next time I come down to this area, the mushrooms will respawn within three to five days, along with the herbs <coughs> and the strawberries. Unfortunately, there was no strawberries here. Strawberries are the rarest of the um, stuff you find in the in the forest, but you'll be able to find this mushrooms and like I said, mushrooms and the herbs. Once you are able to pick the herbs, respawn every three to five days. We're gonna continue looking for this. Yeah, let's go this way. We're going to continue looking. Oh, and this is a wider area than I thought. Okay, there's the area we cleared, and I just found another mushroom. Um, and you can see clearing that area, I got 372 clops. Um, actually, this is probably another field area I'm just gonna go by here real quick I'm just I'll come back to this we're looking for a sheep now yes it is time consuming to do all this in the beginning but as you keep doing this doing these quests over and over you keep on doing it in the same area and when you come back to the like that area I just cleared, in this area that I'm going to clear, it's going to be a lot easier. And I don't have to clear it again. Because grass is like every two to three months, grass and bushes regrow. And mushrooms regrow every three to five days. So if I keep the area cleared, I'll end up finding more mushrooms and all that so make sure you do your daily i'll come back to this this is i'm going to continue looking for the sheep now but do your dailies clear out the mushrooms as you find them so that way you don't have to buy them from the vendors you save money that way and keep looking just as you go through the forest. Hold your right mouse button down. Because even if you're in the area like here, we found some. There's mushrooms throughout the forest and herbs throughout the forest. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the mushrooms and the herbs, especially once you've unlocked the herbs. It's more important to start looking for it because you can't buy them from vendors. Okay. That's not a sheep. And right now I'm just going to do this. I would... Add, oh! Are you my sheep? No. You're not my sheep. Okay, wait a minute. 
We're going this. Still going this way. But um, once you clear out the area, you don't have to worry about it for another two to three um, months in the game. Ah, there's the sheep. So we'll just take the sheep back. Um, I know there's mushrooms there. But once you clear out the area, you don't have to worry about it for a couple months, game months. And it's easier then just to pick, find the mushrooms. In that area, we only saw two. But once I cleared the bushes and the grass, we found... You'll find... Usually mushrooms are in a cluster of between 8 to 16 mushrooms. So you... And as you're doing quests like find my sheep, you come across more and more mushrooms and herbs. And you make more money by cutting the area, so. cutting the grass, collect the gra the hay, and all that. Oh, there you are. That's what I've always said. You really brought my sheep back. Thank you. Okay, we complete the quest. Come on. See, that's too bad. And we got pumpkin seeds. 16, uh, 15 pumpkin seeds. That's how you get seeds in this game, also. Um, you keep on wishing for... One seed you want to wish for all the time is paprika. So, hope this little tip and trick helped you. And if you did, Hey, we hit that like button. Maybe like I get gets this video and gets my channel seen a little bit more. And I would really appreciate the support. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and bell. That way you know when the latest videos I do come along. And also when I go live here on YouTube. And as always, have fun playing your games. Be safe out there in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.